<laughs> don't, don't do that because you can see. Привет, Руша, привет, Москва. Here, this is Sylvain from Venice. I'm here to talk about the movies we're gonna have this year for the Zaftra 6th edition film festival. Uh, first movie, the first one I selected is a Hungarian movie, wonderful, that I saw in Berlin called Just the Wind, who won the, the Silver Beer in Berlin. It's a very delicate movie from a talented director from Hungary and it's about the Roms, uh, the Dingaro people, the way they are uh, assaulted uh, in Hungary but not only in Hungary also in my country in France and it's a very very smart movie. Oh yeah The Wait. The Wait uh, is a Korean movie that I just introduced today in, uh, in Venice. Uh, it's a sort of uh, six feet under trash Korean version and it's uh, a very, very um, dark movie, but also with a lot of uh, dark humor. And I've just been told that it won the Queer Lion <laughs> today in, uh, in Venice, and I hope it's gonna win some other prizes. Other movie is La Bella Adormentata. This is a new Marco Bellocchio film, with, uh, which stars French actress uh, Isabelle Huppert and also um, uh, Maria Senza. The movie talks about a girl who's been in coma for many, many years, and uh, his father has to decide whether they put her to death or not. Then I have Blondie. Blondie is a Swedish film. It's a third movie from Jesper Gansland. This movie is about a woman, uh, a mother who's um, having her 70th birthday, very rich Swedish woman, and her three daughters coming all from uh, to see um, their mom for this big event. One is a um, model in France, she's blondie. The other one is a good girl living in Sweden, who's married with two kids, but she's not such a good girl. And the third one is an hysterical little sister trying to find a way to her life in London. It's dark humor, a sweet, let's say, sweet, bitter sort of comedy, uh, and sort of tragedy also. But it's a woman, woman's tale. Then, uh, in the order, A Good Death. A Good Death is a Dutch movie. This movie also is about <laughs> a love life, but it's about someone who chooses to die because he's very sick. Uh, Netherlands is a country um, in which that is possible. It's very different from, Mar from Marco Bellocchio movie. Even if the subject seems to be the same, it's not exactly the same because it's about someone who knows and who decides that is going to die. Uh, it's also full of humor, strangely. Then uh, we have a Turkish masterpiece called Araf, directed by uh, Yesem. Yesem is a woman also. Uh, I wanted to put some women in the front this year. Uh, it's a movie which is here in Horizonte, it should have been in competition because it, it's a very high level. It's about some cross stories about different characters. I don't want to say too much about this movie, but there's one scene in this movie which is really, really strong and that you will never forget all your life. I've never seen that in, in theatre. It's, it's also, like most of Turkish movies, uh, you have a work of photography which is really, really amazing. Then we have 90 Minutes. Uh, 90 mi Minutes is a um, Norwegian movie, also directed by a woman. And it's three stories in three parts. But not one, two, three, but a third part for each story, then a second, third part for each story, and then the last part for each story. This is not so funny. It's um, quite tough. And unfortunately, it's everyday life. But it's extremely well played. It's a bitter and ironic way to look at some on the rich, the richest, uh, one of the richest countries in the world, uh, Norway, and its society. Then we have uh, 
The Mother. The Mother, another movie directed by a woman and starring this woman. It's from Algeria. She was here two nights ago. Uh, she came to do her dinner here with her, her team. Uh, I hope she she's gonna make it in Moscow. Uh, she's an extremely extremely talented woman. She made a very courageous movie, which took place in Algeria in the mountain. Um, you have very very few characters. It's just the mother and one of her son and someone else. And it's above all, it's the beauty of the photography. The in a very classical way, but classical also is um, is something positive. I know many many times you hear, oh, it's too classical. Oh, that is classical when it's really well done. It is something also to reach. It can be better to be classical than original, and this is why I selected this movie. It's very apart. And then we have Pieta. Um, Pieta, it's a new Kim ki movie. Uh, I've just been told that he's going to have dinner with me tonight, so I'm very happy. Uh, Kim ki is back with, um, with a future movie because he did just before Arirang, which was a sort of documentary about his retreat uh, in the mountain in Korea. Uh, the movie has been has been seen three days ago, has been shown three days ago here in Venice and uh, most of the people are still under the shock. We talk about big price for this movie, so we're gonna see because it's gonna be tomorrow. I'm very excited that Kim Tidu accept come to Moscow and also I'm very excited to, to show not a full retrospective but a little retrospective of his movies. I know you had that in Russia before but uh, never with, on, with his presence. So I'm extremely grateful to him that he's gonna come. And I hope, uh, hope you're gonna enjoy it also. I think that's it. So it's, um, it's two Korean movies. It's strange, it's two Scandinavian movies. Um, I think we're still negotiating some Russian movie because also <laughs> I will be We'll be glad that there's at least one or two movies in the main competition from Russia. There are also some side programs. I'm not going to talk about it now, but uh, I promise you lots of surprise with the side program called Tomorrow um, from any part of the world, but also any part of your biggest country in the world uh, and also some of the ex-Republic of, uh, of Russia. I don't... Um, Tapa tapa? No. Tapa tapa? Bye bye. When you say bye. Paka paka. Paka paka. No, paka paka.